All right, this Sunday, May 14th, Mother's Day for all of you that haven't ordered your flowers yet, but the main event of Submission Underground 4 going down at flowgrappling.com will be Jake Shields versus this man, Dylan Dennis. Dylan, what's going on, pal? How you doing, Jill? Thanks for having me. Hey, I'm pumped that you're here. Hey, I, I got a lot to talk to you about. Before we get into the Shield stuff, uh, where are you at with Bellator? Congrats on your signing. I know they were looking at uh, June 24th. Did that come around? Are you on the June 24th Madison Square Garden card? No, I'm not. So what, what happened with that was I told them either you put me on the pay-per-view or I'm just going to stick to what I'm doing. You know, So they didn't offer me the pay-per-view, and uh, that's where we're at right now. All right, cool. But you are under contract. That that is where you'll make your uh, MMA home for the next little while. Yeah, yeah, I'm under contract. I signed a four fight deal. Awesome. Well, congrats on that. Now, over the, I think it was over the weekend, but you took on AJ Alizarm again, correct? You guys, you guys yeah. went and grappled somewhere. What what happened in that match? I I was left to read about it, but I I didn't get to see it. Yeah, I mean, uh, it was an easy match, just like. This is the first one, but this time he couldn't run as much because it was in the gi, and I, I beat him 10-0, which I knew was going to happen. Uh, he has nothing for me, and I, I keep saying this. Uh, I don't feel that anybody's on my level. Oh, all right. It was a gi match. Where did that take place at? Who who, who promoted that? That was just an IBJF tournament. We were just happy to be in the same division. Oh, all right. Well, that that's a big match for two guys to meet up. How many matches did you get in that day? Three or four? No, actually, that was the only match in, that, in, uh, in, in our weight class. And then I didn't do that flu just because I wanted to be safer, you know, this weekend. All right, very cool. So speaking of this weekend, man, uh, I mean, you got dealt a tough one. Jake Shields is uh, Jake Shields is nobody's fool, but you did not hesitate to take that match. What do you, what do you see in in Shields' game when you look at it? Uh, man, I don't I don't see anything special. I mean, he's he's over the hill. I feel like he's slow, unathletic, and I feel like I don't have kind of beat, beat him up. I'm going to play with him on I feel like I'm going to play with him. Um, I trained with him before. I know he's a really good staller. You know, he's a good wrestler that stalls, but, I mean, that's all he has, honestly. Uh, and, and I'm going to beat him everywhere. Dylan, when you're when you're on a card like that, and, and I know main event of a card, it, it's kind of hard to enjoy the show, but your co-main yeah. event with Meow versus Uriah Faber, I find that to be very interesting. Meow has the experience in in specifically in grappling, but Uriah Faber has some experience in, in getting his hand raised in high-level competitions. How do you look at that match? I agree with you. That's one of the, I'm actually really excited to watch that. It's a really, really interesting matchup. But I see Meow winning it just because of the experience he has in just straight grappling. I know Uriah is tough, and he, he won a couple of, like, I think he's fallen ADCC before and stuff like that. But, I mean, I see him fishing on the weekends and hanging out. I mean, those meows, man, they train every day, all day long. You know, that's that's their life. So to beat them, you're going to have to train hard. And I, I just don't think Dry is there right now with his training. I think he's enjoying retirement a little bit. And uh, I think Meow's going to come out with something to prove, especially after what just happened with him and stuff like that. Yeah, I hear you on that. You know, I mean, it is a big opportunity for Meow as well. As much as he has experience and he's done a lot of this, Uriah Faber is a big name. I mean, that's a match that if you can get a guy like that and you can get a win over him regardless regardless of what sport it is, if it's combat sport and you got a win over the California kid, that means something. 100%. I mean, if you look at it, it's Mission Underground is the only one that's putting on these kind of matchups. Like, where else are you going to see Paul Meow versus Uriah Faber? I mean, it's incredible, honestly. Like, as a fan, I enjoy it, and I appreciate what you're doing for the sport. Well, thank you for saying that. That's a very nice compliment. Hey, there's another match on there. Uh, Gilbert Burns is taking on uh, John Combs, who's coming in out of uh, of Denver. Young kid, a lot of fire behind him. Are you familiar with either one of those guys? Yeah, yeah I'm familiar with both of them. Um, yeah, I, I know uh, John Combs. I've seen him around the competition scene, and obviously Gilbert Arena is the animal, so I know about him. Okay, how, how do you see that match? I mean, that that's a good, solid matchup right there. Yeah, it, it's solid, but it's a little one-sided. I think Dorino's going gonna, gonna to beat him pretty easily. I mean, uh, Dorino's beat some of the best guys in the world, and he's won, you know, he's played in ABC. He's won the world a couple times, and uh, I mean, John Combs, I don't think he's going to really have anything for him. Even though I like John Combs, he's a solid kid, but I think Dorino's going to play with him, honestly. Hey, let me switch gears on you. The night before Submission Underground, the heavyweight championship is going down. Junior Dos Anjos, he's taking on the champion, Stipe Miocic, junior former champion. This is a rematch. Junior won the first one. 
How do you see this one? The odds makers believe that Stipe is going to win, but it's very close. But, you know, a lot of people are forgetting these two have already fought and Stipe didn't win. Is that relevant or has Stipe grown so much uh, since that? Per- How do you see that fight? Um, honestly, that, I mean, Philly Jr. Dos Santos is going to win, but I kind of want Stipe to win. You know, there's something about Stipe, man, that he's the champ. And you look at his camp, really, he doesn't come from, like, a crazy camp like a lot of these guys do, like American top team or, you know, like, AK or something. He trades with his own. He, uh, he like, you know, he doesn't have anything crazy. And I, I think it's awesome that he sticks with his team and he's all the way at the top. So I kind of want him to do good. You know, I'm rooting for him, but uh, I kind of think Junior might edge it out by decision. Yeah, Junior's a really hard fight. You know, I appreciate you saying that because it, it's so quick that, you know, some of these greats get forgotten. And yeah, Junior, Junior had a couple of bumps in the road, but you know, he's such a good fighter. And there was a period of time, it was kind of like John Jones and Daniel Cormier, where they separated themselves from the pack by, uh, by such a great length. And Junior and Cain Velasquez had separated themselves from the rest of the pack, uh, so incredibly. And then we finally saw some parody and some time went by and now we've got some new blood in there. But to write Junior Dos Sanos off is just not something I could do with a good conscience. It's, I just can't. I, the guy has my respect. 100%. I agree with you. I think in the sport of, uh, of MMA, a lot of guys that lose a fight or something, and then a lot of the fans like to write them off like they were never the guy or they were never what they what they done. So, uh, I mean, I know what Junior Dos Santos is capable of. I, I'm a big fan of the sport, and I watch every fight. So, I mean, I would never write that guy off. I mean, anybody that can knock out Game last good and under a minute, I, I mean, however long he knocked out in West, but you know, you got to estimate someone like that. Yeah, I, hey, I, I I fully agree with you on you. All right, hey, I appreciate your picks. I know you're very busy. You got a big match coming up with Jake Shields, which means you got an airplane to catch in a couple of days. I will see you in Portland. Best of luck, Dylan. Thank you, Joe. I appreciate it. Cool. Take care, buddy. Guys, I will tell you, I wish you could see me right now. There's not very many days when I leave the house with a little pep in my step because I feel I look nice. I'm not that guy. And I'm generally a workout shirt guy. Most of the clothes that I have were given to me somewhere between some sponsor or somebody in the fight game or somebody gives me something. And the only time I up my wardrobe is on Christmas. My wife goes out, she gets me a couple of presents. Whatever I get on December 25th kind of takes me for the whole year. I've only got one pair of shoes. I've got a couple of pairs of jeans, but I've had these for nine or ten years. And the t-shirts, I never feel I look nice, but I never deserve to. Some of them got holes in them, and they're, they're just workout shirts. Guys, I got hooked up with Proper Cloth. I want you guys to consider this. Check this out. Propercloth.com. Boom. That easy. I really feel I have a little more confidence. I'm telling you, I've got more compliments on this shirt. You know, getting a tailored shirt is hard to do and it's very expensive and it takes time. You got to go in, you got to get measured, you got to do all these different things. And so it's something just very rare. A lot of you have never had a tailored shirt. I have only had one tailored shirt. I loved it. I would love to have a closet full of them, but there's just too much of a process. I got to find a place that does tailoring. I got to get in the car. I got to drive down there. I, I got to get out the tape measure. Takes a while before I ever get it. There's just a lot to it, and they're not cheap. Propercloth.com. You go on there. You fill out some questions. In less than five minutes, you will be set up, and you will have a perfectly tailored shirt. They mail it to you. You pay for it. You're set. You could go fill your closet up, which is my dream of having perfectly custom shirts. But you never have to leave your house. The days of the tape measure are over. I want you guys to go to propercloth.com slash chael. Do it today. Enter the gift code chael, C-H-A-E-L. They will give you $20 off of your first shirt. Do it today. Do it for yourself. You don't have to be like me, where you only get your wardrobe upped when your wife buys you something On Christmas. You could do this for yourself. You owe this to yourself. If you have any kind of job where you got to be in an office, you got to have a tailored shirt. If you got an interview coming up, you got to have a tailored shirt. If you're ever going to any kind of social or nice event whatsoever, there's times it's okay to admit that we want to look nice. Guys, go to propercloth.com slash chale. Enter the code chale. It's going to take you five 
minutes. You're going to be set up. It is going to be a perfect shirt. If you get it and you disagree in any fashion where you don't have the experience that I had where you go, wow, I look nice today. If you don't have that, send it back. They give you all your money back. That easy. Propercloth.com slash chael. Do it today. 